Hello and welcome to my channel Mystical Art, this is Sarah and it is Christmas coming up I've decided to channel Archangel Gabriel and I'm collaborating again with Kelly from Kelly's Magical Realm and Kelly does beautiful ASMR poetry on her YouTube channel and Kelly pointed out to me recently that some astrologers believe that the three wise men could represent the three stars in Orion's belt in the Bible, the three wise men travelled from the east, following a star that led them to Bethlehem. Some ancient cultures refer to the three stars as the three, as the three kings. And so I asked Archangel Gabriel about this, and I also asked him if he had any other messages that he wanted to share with us at this time. I did some automatic writing with Archangel Gabriel, and the first thing he said was, your world has always been connected to other worlds, dear one. In time you will grow a strong connection to your brothers and sisters on other planets, dear one. And I got this feeling that there were other beings from other planets looking down at us from the, these stars. And he, and he also said, when Jesus entered your world, it was a time where humans felt lost. Jesus' teachings helped many humans find structure in, the spirit, in their spiritual journey. The, the three wise men embody the energies of peace, connection and presence. In life, it is always important to strive for peace within ourselves in order to create peace in the world. Our connection to each other as well as our connection to source or God or the universe will help you see love in all places and bring balance to the world. Being present in the moment will help you carry out your life's mission. It is important that we ground ourselves and we take time to we take time to reflect. In our everyday lives we have so many distractions and it is important for us to ground ourselves and reflect so we can um, find our purpose and connect with who we are. He says that the, these three words, peace, connection and presence, will help you on the path to wisdom. And he also said, Dear ones, I come to you at this time to remind you of the importance of love and letting go of ego. At a time where everyone wants to be right, this can lead us to forgetting why we are fighting this battle in the first place. Go inside your heart whenever you want to find the truth. If anyone seeks to divide you, they are not working in your best interest. Those that divide us seek to rule us. You may not understand other people's choices, but when you see yourselves as one, you will see love within everyone. Stop asking for permission to live your life and trust your own feelings and intuition. If you allow us, we angels will help you on your ascension journey. Energies are changing quickly during 2022. It's time to do the inner work now. And the angels, um, they don't work with a time frame like we do. They don't, time doesn't have meaning to them. So. In, they are already, they speak about 2022 happening now because to them it, it, it all times are one and they are already experiencing this. Archangel Gabriel is was making me feel that during 2022 it is going to be um, an even quicker year than 2021. This year has really felt like it's been speeding up and I and, and this is because we're heading towards this time of ascension and I feel, he was making me feel like it was um, I'm becoming even closer to this 5D world and he was telling me that it is important that we keep doing the inner work to help us with ascending because if you leave it there's um, an even bigger gap there will be even more work to do when the time comes. And I can feel Archangel Gabriel's energy around me again now. And he's got a very peaceful and wise energy. 
Archangel Gabriel is the angel of communication and he is very diplomatic and he helps us with, with communicating with others and with expressing ourselves. He helps us also with creativity um, and he wants to talk about creative people, creatives and healers. He says that creative people and light workers the people who have always felt like outsiders in society and he's he's saying your time will come he says that um as we go into this new age of aquarius aquarius is associated with inventions with creativity and healing and people who are and people who work in these areas will feel more present in the age of Aquarius and he, he says that you'll feel more accepted in this new age but he says that it is important that you do this work on yourself that you find acceptance and love within yourself and he says that if you are an outsider it's important that you love yourself and what makes you unique he says that he says that self-acceptance is very important. He says that even if you have validation from other people, you'll still feel lost if you don't accept yourself. He says that um, approval from others can be taken at any moment, but if you love and accept yourself, you'll always have peace within yourself. And again, he's talking about the importance of being present spending time in nature he says that humans will be going to nature more he said that these last couple of years have helped a lot of us change our perspective a lot of us have been focusing less on work and more on the the world around us and discovering what is really important to us and he's shown me more of a focus on nature being in nature will help you to feel more present and when you are more present you will find it easier to find your purpose. These last couple of years have been difficult for us because we haven't had as many instructions. He's saying that we need to discipline ourselves more, we need to be more present, we need to focus more because um, we can't keep running away from our purpose when we feel unhappy with what we're doing in our life. It's because we're not aligned with our purpose and what we should be doing. So it is important to take the that time and reflect and find out what gives you meaning. Sometimes we do stray off path, sometimes we do get lost, but when we keep focusing on love and being present, we will find our way back, we will find the path that we are meant to be on. And he showed me more balance in 2022. He says that the last couple of years have been chaotic for us. In 2022, it feels like more people are finding their path, what they're meant to be doing. They are more um, more like-minded people are coming together. There's certain people in our lives who may not resonate with as much. And in 2022, we'll be coming together more with our soul groups, he's saying. We've, we all have a soul group. And our soul group may not be the our families. Our soul group are our spiritual family, the people who are on a similar path to what we are on and we will gravitate more towards those people. And he says that we will feel it intuitively when we meet our soul family. And he really wants us to um, focus more on creativity and writing and it, cause he will help us with that during 2022. He says that creativity will bring help to bring us together more. Creativity has always brought humans together, it's always kept us entertained, but he showed me that in 2022, a lot of healing will be done this way. As a collective on Earth, we've suffered a lot of pain during the last couple of years. More creativity happened in 2022, expressing ourselves. It is important for us to express how we feel in order to heal ourselves and also this can help to heal other people as well and he's just shown me a boost of creativity over the next few years over the next few years 
there will be more creative adventures, people starting creative businesses, more masterpieces being made. Um, he's just saying to really put how we feel onto onto paper, into words, making things, anything to express how we feel because there's so much hurt in, in the world at the moment and, and the best way to get rid of this hurt is by channeling it into something beautiful and we can create something beautiful from the bad things that have happened to us um, and he says that if you've got an idea even if you f feel like it's silly call call on him he'll help you to um structure your idea to to find more inspiration if you're going to meditation and you can call on archangel gabriel and you can ask him to give you more inspiration to help you find the right words to say to help you with developing your idea and he'll find ways to to help you and also he also wants to talk about expressing ourselves he says that no good will come from burying how you feel because it'll come out in other ways so make sure you talk to others about your feelings or write down how you feel or talk to your angels um, try and get out try and get these feelings out and he says that by doing this we'll find more people around us feeling the same way and we can help each other and he wants to send out his love and healing to us all on earth and he says that these couple of years have been challenging for us but they've also helped us to see our strength and to see another side of ourselves to to help us find our dreams to help us to find the people on our soul level and before he goes he wants us to send love to this year ahead 2022 send loving healing thoughts if he says create the year that you want to create you may not have control over big events in the world but you have control over your actions and he says to you can change the world by doing small things by um, offering help to people by choosing not to judge by by sending out loving thoughts sending out healing to others he says that we can make this world a better place and and he says to not give your power away to anyone don't let anyone tell you the situation is hopeless you've got the power within you to create change in the world and within yourself and he wants to to thank us and send his love thank you for watching happy holidays and now here's a poem from kelly hey this is kelly with kelly's magical realm and i'm reading to you my poem the three wise men of winter solstice on this day the longest night this is the three days with no lights i look up at the sky and i see majestic constellations that lead you to the sun coming back on christmas night rebirth and the winter solstice sensation when the dark meets the light the number three carries its own rhythmic vibration. The star in the east is shimmering bright. It's the serious star that leads the wise men, the three wise men from Orion's belt, an astrological phenomenon that was felt. The three pyramids in Egypt captured this site that lead you here on this night look toward your north nodes and follow the wisdom that it holds the holy trinity the sign of great divinity the father son and the holy spirit the white dove of existence the three wise men bearing gifts to awaken the senses 
holding a healing ceremony. The Merkaba star on top of the tree representing the body. Euphoric lights all around. Masculine and feminine energy aligning just in time for the holy trine.